Guys, Cosmos here from Doll Games, and in this video, we're going to be doing a first look review video of uh, Dragon Awaken. I've been asked to review this game. It's now in closed beta, so uh, maybe some things will not be working perfectly well while they're finishing the preparations to launch the game, which I think is on the 8th of March. But anyhow, we're gonna um, play through it and, and see, um, yeah, see what it's like and everything. So I just did a tutorial, um, created character did a tutorial um, while creating and I don't know if it's final or not. Um, I could just select the genders, I selected male for me. And um, as I mentioned, it's all it's in closed beta, so uh, it could be that they'll be adding more stuff. Um, but we'll just proceed as now. Tutorial was very short, just uh, one battle um, and a little bit of dialogue, and then uh, we came to the city right here. We got a main quest here: find dragon treasure finished. So we're gonna go for that. All right, there's like a lot of rewards. <laughs> all right, um, that was a bit fast so i got a, a whole bunch of stuff but in yes we're, we're just gonna continue with the quests okay we get some gold and experience pretty standard stuff uh, so far i'm playing on a large screen here um so that's pretty cool you get to see a lot more of it auto walking to quests it's always comfortable we get the experience and gold rewards so far. I'm not a big fan of dialogue, so I'll just be like clicking through it. But um, if you want to read the dialogue, you can just pause. All right, slash. So the people who are um, playing version uh, will recognize this kind of design. It's very similar so far. So we got. Okay, so uh, right now he's not giving me freedom yet because I guess I'm still sort of passing through um, a tutorial type of thing. This is a ultimate attack. He's so gonna do like a beautiful crit attack. That kills off the enemy. Alright, let's proceed. Again, more rewards. So, so far it's going quite fluid. Okay, we get uh, upgrade flame whelp to level 2. Okay, so I got a flame whelp thingy, which is um, sort of a dragon thingy. Let's see which button is it. So we got the bag, which I auto equipped, apparently. <laughs> I wasn't paying too close of attention there. There was a one click auto equip on the first reward window. I, I'm not sure if I managed to press it or not. But anyway, we got this dragon window. So we got this little dragon. And we're gonna do okay. He wants me to do auto. We'll do that. So it's costing dragon dust to upgrade the dragon. We'll finish the quest there. So I'm just rolling through the different quests. Recharge to get a dragon on top of the character. Okay, so first time we're getting dragon dust rewards in addition to golden experience. And uh, it's nice that it says the progress of today. So it says progress uh, today's progress 11. The limit is 2,500, and the limit is determined by level. So it's nice that there is some kind of a control over the quantity consumed. And it also says the item source, which is nice. All right, so we're just gonna we got slash here, which is uh, also very similar to Warchun's uh, night attack, and but we got a dragon here immediately, so skills will be cast when dragon rage is full. So we got a flame whelp, um, bell rating level skill fire breath consumes all dragon rage to attack two three random enemies. All right. All right. Well, either that was a really strong attack, or uh, the the enemy was weak. But that's kind of standard for the beginning enemies to be weaker. All right. So we're just gonna continue upgrading the dragon. We got that quest. More dragon dust. I can you can fit it manually, which is just the one fitting. Um, but I now have 46 dragon dust, so there's no point clicking 46 times, I suppose. 
Upgrade Dragon complete. Talk to Lion Summoner. So I'm up to level 4. Very easily done so far. Alright, we got dungeons unlocked. We're going to go to Dark Forest where uh, we get a gold experience and this basic X scroll. Okay, enter. A <laughs> little guy is sitting there, it's kind of funny. Alright, we got orcs. And the second attack is Blade Storm. There is the dragon attack again. Well, that was very easy. And there's a VIP reward as well, the fourth card. I'll try to get some resources later on. But for now, I just want to see what it's like without any additional resources. All right, we're going to go talk to Light Summer. He's going to give us a VIP trial card. So again, very similar to Warchun for those players who play Warchun. You just activate VIP for a month with 17 privileges to enjoy. That's pretty cool. All right, there it is. Privileges VIP pack, VIP vault, VIP dungeon. VIP X bonus, VIP extra flipping chances, that's from the cards we just saw, I guess from dungeons, lots of great privileges, so 17 in total, and we can already claim the pack for uh, VIP level 1, which I am right now. So alternatively, I can try to get a higher level VIP and claim bigger packs, but uh, it, it is like this now, we get gold, there's a material pack, and a mysterious key used to open chests in dungeons and then we have VIP 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 levels of VIP where you get more and more uh, rewards the more VIP you are. Alright, we got a level 1 pack, the strong pack advanced summoning card, used to replace amber to draw essence in tavern, I'm not exactly sure what that is but we'll find out and then we got hero evolve crystals. We got Mount Souls, used to increase Mount stats, plus 30 attack, defense, more defense, okay, and we got Prank card, used to pray in Astro, okay, we're gonna claim that, and we're gonna claim this reward, so that's all good. The privileges are shown in a nice table. So that's uh, pretty standard so far, um, all, all nicely made and uh, pretty standard and I guess they'll improve it further. Receive material pack, do you want to use it now? Yeah, why not? We get a medium experience scroll. Okay, claim that already. Alright, we're gonna talk to War Mistress, but let's check out in the back if there's something we can use. We got experience scrolls. Used to obtain hero experience times 200. Okay, let's let's try one. Did it work? I'm not sure. Well, let me close and open the bag again. Use. I finished level seven. Okay. Talk to mistress, uh, war mistress. Let's run over. A uh, seven is actually quite close. I got a wing activation coming at 30 uh, level 31. Little dragon running behind me. She needs our help. Go to dungeon. Elf shrine. All right, we got weird bears with green stuff. So maybe they're poisonous or something. Uh, Blade Storm is hitting all enemies, and uh, this one is hitting hitting stronger but um, and giving additional rage and then we have the ultimate attack of course which I can use right now yeah of course the enemies are weak 
and that's uh, we can open the VIP card as well. Good stuff. A lot of those experience scrolls. So I already have four of them. Let's go. Level 8 in 10 minutes. So we got a big town. We'll have a look at the, the map or something later to see how big it is. Oh, first time I see Essence used to recruit heroes in the tavern, okay. And we're gonna recruit them right now. Go to tavern. And um, 40 to recruit these or these or these, but I guess the game wants me to, to take these for now. Those look pretty good. Immune and shield. Let's have a look at them. They don't have too much attack, but they have a ton of health and defense. And various skills and such. And then we have the second one, which is a ward mistress. This looks like an archer um, icon there, so maybe she's shooting. Very high attack, but lower health and even lower defense. And then we got Enchantress with a pretty good attack, health, but um, not so much defense. And she can do attack an enemy, enemy in the front row and receive 50 rage. And oh, she's a healer. Okay. So we're just going to continue with the way the game wants us to go for now. New function, hero. And assign. Double click, okay, he comes to the front. And we can already upgrade using, oh, the experiences are for the heroes. Okay, I see, that wasn't for me. Cool. I'll just use them all. Seven, okay. Alright, let's go talk to War Mistress again. Oh, we got some icon here. What does that do? Oh, that was for the formation, I think. Heavy Cavalryman. Quite a lot of health, thousand. Alright, more rewards. And more talking. Oh, we get a new sword. Revenge sword is stronger than the iron one, so we better equip that. One click equip, cool. Can have a look. There it is. It's also more po It's a 150 bell rating compared to 30 of the blue items, and this one is a purple one. So that's cool. Oh, we get a clearance reward. Diamonds and advanced experience scrolls for heroes and dragon dust for dragons. Cool. So let's go clear this one. There's the funny guy again. I like him. But now we got the, the hero supporting. Controlled by the dark power. Alright, let's try Blade Storm. Or maybe that wasn't necessary. So here we got a couple of waves it seems like. There's my area attack, about 200 I hit them for. Let's see how strong the dragon will hit. Dragon also about 2-300. But I should be able to upgrade it more. We got the boss. You look familiar. Oh, she turned the Calderman into a little pig. <laughs> okay, but she wasn't strong otherwise. All right. So far, very smooth. 
another level up so we got level 10 in 15 minutes looking good and uh, we'll continue that in the next video